It's disgusting because they want, man, when, when I see LeBron James come out talking about some Black Lives Matter, you built a school before you built a factory. How dare you? How dare you tell a mother and a father that their child is worth more than the parents? You give them a $100,000 education while they ain't, oh, you don't subsidize their housing, huh? These motherfuckers don't own the place in which they live, but they can go to school. This is some fucked up capitalistic mentality where you tell me that I deserve education, but I don't deserve a place to live. That's interesting, man. That's and, a right. Huh? That's a right. What? To have, to have somewhere to live. It should be a human right. <laughs> It's not a human right. I've I've known single mothers who are living in their cars, taking their kids to school every day, trying to fight truancy charges because, man, I ain't got no place to live. My ex is a fucking abuser and I can't live in one location because that nigga is stalking me and your stalker laws suck like a motherfucker. Like we, Ooh, man. we have destroyed the family through all this nasty rhetoric. And then when you see the symptoms of destroying the family, you don't know how to respond. You do not have the systems to respond. This is where the trauma comes from. No, they have the systems. They make it like that on purpose. I don't disagree with you. It's one-sided. I had a situation. Love my baby. The way things are set up is so biased. I love my women. But a lot of times they create an environment that's so pro-feminist movement that it creates a competition. And we supposed to really be taking care of each other. See, I didn't grow up in the environment to where my grandmother was against my grandfather or my mother was against my father. But that's the environment we're in today. If the man or the woman is not how you deem them to be or not how Instagram deems them to be or not how the movies deem them to be. Goodbye. Adios, amigo. Adios. Amigo. Disposable. And, and, and as soon as America passed child support legislation in 1975 and made the father a commodity, you made him disposable. You made him disposable because now all of the ancillary benefits that I bring to the table, being able to teach my son how to ride a bike, being able to teach my son etiquette and how to behave, being able to be a reinforcer in the house when my wife makes a statement, I'm supporting that to double down, to be able to hold our children accountable. A family is an economic power system because my kids wash dishes and clean up for free. My wife cooks, and so we ain't got to go out and spend money. My children rake the leaves and cut the grass. We're building money by investing in each other, but as soon as you take away this family structure, man, now now I got Julio cutting my grass. But hold so. on, though. Hold on, though. I'm, I get the structure thing, right? But I guess call it old school, call it whatever you want to call it. I thought we was just working together, looking out for each other. Loving on each other. And hey, I see you've been working all week. Let me wash the dishes. Oh, my parents been busting their ass since I was born. Let me clean my room up when they ask me to. I might not want to clean it up all the time. But let me just do it this time because I see my mama. I see my daddy. Or I just see my mama. Or I just see my daddy in there tired as fuck. Hey, in this, in this give me culture, in this me first culture, in this narcissistic culture that we live in, you have to incentivize it. And if you don't understand how fa how important family is based on nostalgia and history and emotional connection, then let me break it down economically. You having a wife saves you money. You having children saves you money. As a matter of fact, they make you money. If, make you, choose, you money. if you choose to file your taxes and buy yourself a house, these things make you money. But you don't want to invest in yourself because you got these preconceived ideas on what a woman is or what a man is. And I don't want to do what Big Mama did. Or the I don't family. Wanna, family. Man. This is what family... Look, our family is supposed to look like the family on The Housewives. You was raised by TV and you think that your life is supposed to be TV. Wake up, baby. That's a fantasy. And that's for young men, young women, old men, old women. If men and women do not start working together to have happy homes, we're going to destroy this great nation. And for all you folks who say y'all hate this nation, hey, I can tell because your behavior shows me that you don't even love yourself. 